on an Alaskan journey, watching whales and hunting glaciers. You can hunt a glacier? Well, Steve Spangler hunting thinks he can. <laughs> and a crew of 106 teachers is with him from all across the country. They're on a science at sea adventure. And Steve took a moment to show us what they're all up to. What he's looking forward to seeing is whales, lots of whales. And look at the whales. Whales, otters, and Steve Spangler. Southeast Alaska is an amazing place for teachers and science enthusiasts, anybody who loves the outdoors, to explore an environment that is rich in marine life and is always filled with a few surprises. Well, we just saw a humpback whale, uh, and we just saw some stellar sea lions floating right up next to the boat. And of course, we went by that stellar sea lion haul out, where we saw probably four dozen stellar sea lions. And of course, stellar sea lions are big critters. They're about two to three times bigger than a California sea lion. When you allow teachers to wonder and discover and explore and ask questions in an environment like this, they really fuel their passion for learning and they can hardly wait to take that experience and that love of learning back to the classroom. I get to see the excitement through their eyes again and I get to relive that experience every day, really. We're up early this morning with teachers just off of Point Adolphus in the icy strait. Perfect place to be able to see marine mammals, uh, a little seabird watching, maybe even some whales as we make our way to Glacier Bay. But for anybody who's ever been to Alaska, you know who the real stars of the show are? The glaciers. Here we are in front of the Marjorie Glacier with the Science at Sea program with Steve Spangler. Earlier we did get to see a brown bear upon the shoreline. This is the first year that we've uh, seen the bedrock being exposed on the Marjorie Glacier. We haven't seen this with other glaciers, but the Marjorie Glacier is the one that the rangers um, view almost every day during the summer months. So uh, we do have close observations of this. It does calve, but it is replenished from the ice behind it every day. Marjorie Glacier is flowing at about uh, six feet a day. So six feet of ice will fall off, six feet of ice is replacing it back in the mountains. It's pretty incredible and just gigantic. It's hard to comprehend how big it is. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna teach fifth grade science and I'm gonna take some of the hands-on things, the experiments we did with John, the, the nature, and it can expand their horizons, but get them on fire for science. I believe the best professional development for teachers is at its very core transformational. That's why I want them to leave Alaska forever changed and committed to creating these unforgettable learning experiences for their students. That's what Science at Sea is all about. They are having an awesome time. This no is doubt. the fifth time that Steve has hosted the Science at Sea cruise to Alaska with plans already in the works for 2018. And it's exciting to see teachers so excited too. Like oh, I said, new wonder. What a great trip.